Bricks explores the brick building that is constantly being reconstructed over millennia, with elements being installed, dismantled, and rebuilt across the site. The ambition is to allow the area to be newly constructed and other to be unmaintained, displaying the structures interconnected with nature, creating new spatial experience in our urban environment. Firstly, we begin with the sheen layers. The styles stay the longest, the structure may stay over 30 years, and the skin may last 20 years, and the surveys, space plans, and stuff may change every five years. In brick building, the skin is also the structures in many conditions, and the bricks can be reused and recycled from old buildings, which can be considered as an environmental friendly material. Also, brick has a long history, and it's a proof that the brick still plays an important role and will be widely used in the future especially in developing countries. And the porosity of a brick allows the growth of a non-determinate vegetation. These eco-friendly features allow it to withstand weathering and facilitate the integrations of a human and non-human. Regarding the non-human element, wind, solar, weathering become the three main elements that control the building generation to redefine the relationships of human and time, non-human and time, human and non-human over a long time. Imagining the building can be constantly rebuilt for thousands of years, like Shikin and Senku in Japan. We are trying to reuse brick and create dynamic spatial experience that interconnected with nature. As the environmental simulation is time consuming, we integrate machine learning to accelerate the simulation and design process. The pick to pick model is to train to predict the wind speed and generate the distributions of the primary structures. We firstly generate the variations of a brick plan dataset from procedure design. And we got a fake site. The machine learning can return the real-time feedback of wind and sun data-driven design. Then we convert the sketch of a human design intention to confine the building layout. Now. Then, we explore the four space criteria based on different conditions. The four kinds of space have different properties that integrate with environment in different way to create primary structures which offer different functions and experience. These four spaces are generalized for different combinations of sun and wind populations and allow the coexistence of a human and non-human. Firstly, input a site, analyze the wind and the solar and generate the four kinds of space then input the human intent open space location, and different geometry are produced based on different rays of four space. One important part of our research is the 2D to 3D conversion from machine learning results. We create a color map that can store the underneath information of 3D geometry. So we transfer the site, human sketch, and get primary structure to 2D image from machine learning. In our initial experiments, the first prototype considered the slope board for vegetation growth. In this one, different thickness were to display more permeable and vacant space. And these prototypes include some walls that can be constantly weathered to further integrate with environments. In prototype 4, we create pocket space that can withstand long time weathering process that facilitate more growing. In this one, we further explore the typologies of a non-human space, like the pools, wind adaptive structures and temporary surveys. This procedural method converts environmental element and human intention to new building, which maximize the potentials of materials in chain layers. Then the machine learning is integrated by creating dataset. We can input a site and get the main structure image responding to the sun and wind on the site. However, we are facing the constantly change in climate, and we have to consider the durable climate response design. Like the hotter the temperature, and larger the window, thinner the walls. And considering the bricks are durable, reconfigurable elements, the building can be perpetually constructed, installed, dismantled, and rebuilt, it, showing the exchange of a human and non-human over a long time. This procedure design tool can produce a sequence of reconstructive process according to a rule-based principles. We use the procedure method as I mentioned above to analyze the wind and sun. Then we got a basic maxims of four space in the site. 
which will generate geometry for the datasets for machine learning. As each part of the building, the non-human pocket space are more easily to be weathered and grows the planes. And the main load-bearing structure is made from the reused bricks, which can stay for a longer time. While the timber and steel act as a temporary stuff and surface of shearing layers. Most part of the building will be deconstructed when it aged 15 years. In some parts, will remain for 75 years. The vacant space will be left for wildlife, and the bricks will be further weathered under reuse. And the hotter the temperature, a more open and non-human space. Besides, we will have more atriums, courtyards, and terraces. Moreover, the opening will be affected by further weather. By leaving the parts of the relic being continuously weathered, we create a new type of wildlife landscape in the urban environment. The next frame prediction is a kind of a machine learning that can predict the continuously change and infer the dynamic informations. After inputting the design sketch, procedure design can produce a sequence as a data set. Then the next frame prediction can estimate the next process based on the variation tendency. For experiments, we create the dataset sequence that responds to the hotter climate. The dataset is tested by using different durations of each frame. Here are the results from the next frame predictions. The result is more accurate on the dataset that have a fewer frame durations. In next step, we are rethinking the details of the building by using different patterns to provide different spatial experience. Based on the forest space criteria, the high sun high wind area provide pocket space to shelter non-human. High wind low sun area provide opening for ventilations, and high sun low wind area provide shade to retain more water. Combining the environmental data, we create convexities, protrusions, patterns, and step based on the brick properties, and facilitate the growth of vegetation, and reusing brick to create new types of urban landscape. And timber, steel, and other material constitute the skin, space plants, surveys, and stuff that will be replaced over a long time. These structures improve the microclimate for non-human, and through the reusing bricks, the material becomes more porous and provides more water and substrates for vegetation. In the final chapter, a real site was selected to be tested and implemented. The color map from pex to pex or next frame predictions are input to generate the basic maxing. And after combining the solar and wind analysis, the maxing is converted to brick structures in detail, and joined with other temporary components. Through perpetual constructions, the hybrid intelligence integrated with human intention and artificial intelligence can potentially adapt to future climates. The brick structures are being installed, dismantled, and rebuilt across the size, leaving some area for non-determinate vegetation growth and creating new spatial experience in our urban environment.